Hey guys, uh, this Reasons to Play video is going to be slightly different. I'm going to be counting down my top 10 uh, most anticipated cards coming up in the Whispers of the All Gods set. Uh, so these might not be the most competitive cards, although some of them actually are. Um, but it'll definitely feature the ones with the most fun uh, and most interesting interactions, battle cries and death rattles. Uh, so we'll kickstart the video. So this is one of the most earliest uh, previewed cards. It's the uh, Priest card. Forbidding Shaping, so spend all of your mana, or I should say all of your remaining ma uh, mana, to summon a random minion for that cost. Uh, so the reasons this card, <laughs> I, I love Recombobulator, and this is like playing a, uh, a Recombobulator from hand, and it perfectly plays on Kev, but you kind of want to play this maybe on turn 4, um, turn 5, turn 6, when cards on turn 6, obviously Forest and, and uh, Sylvanas, stuff like that. So, yeah, really looking forward to this one. It's going to produce some interesting uh, clips, hopefully. Maybe a few Leroy clips for exactly for the expected. <laughs> or uh, a saving taunt, um, some walkers, stuff like that. So, yeah, look out for this card. Uh, I'll probably play it in most of my Control Priest decks. Uh, Kev's out nicely as well. So the next card we have is Evolve, which is the one mana Shaman card. Uh, so this is similar to uh, a card that was played in Tavern Brawl recently in the Kelfizard versus Refram uh, Brawl. I forget what the card's name was, but I'm sure it was similar to Naga Sea Witch. I can't remember. It was a, it was a Naga card, <clears throat> but this one transfers it basically transforms all your minions uh, to one of a higher cost. So if you have, you have totems on board, they go to a two mana card. Uh, if you have um, a couple of good free drops, it could turn them into the new Shaman 7-7 seven, seven, four drop, which would be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, capabilities of this. It's, it, it fully heals your cards, so you can trade in your uh, higher statted minions. Shamans typically have a lot of sticky sticky stuff with the totems and summon you know summon totems with the Tuscar to uh, Totanic so this is going to be a, a really cool a really cool card to play it's a un card quite unique but we've seen it in Tavern Brawl so there you go Blizzard test test stuff out on Tavern Brawl before they release the cards that's pretty cool next we have another Shaman card which again I'm really excited for similar to Recombobulator um, Select a friendly minion, except it'll actually recombobulate that minion into a higher one costed minion, so arguably even better. And the stats, really competitive. 4 5, Yeti stats. It's basically a Yeti with just a, a superior, it's a superior card in every way. Shaman, shamans are getting a lot of, uh, a, lot of a lot of love actually in the expansion, so you can expect to see quite a lot of uh, mid range and control shamans. Um, and this is definitely one of the, the cards I'm looking forward to the most. As soon as I seen this, I realised I thought it was a joke because it was released on April Fo uh, April Fool's Day by uh, Savitz. So I thought this card was a a joke when I seen it. But yeah, the card's amazing. Really looking forward to it. Again, looking for some saving moments where you you pull a, a def um, you pull off a um, a decent taunt or even like a charge for lethal. But yeah, pretty pretty interesting and cool card. Next is a card we've already, I've already featured on um, reasons to play, and that was the uh, Fain Death. It's kind of a a really good statted body, a six five. It's already better than low fed uh, stat wise, five mana. But it uh, it comes with an inbuilt Fain Death for one minion, which is insane. That is insane. And there's some half decent death rattles as well in Hunter, uh, coming out like the uh, the infested wolf, being one of them. But the dream is obviously to have, you know, a really powerful death uh, death rattle effect on board, like Sylvanas, and then just uh, playing this uh, after that turn to steal potentially two minions, which you know isn't completely unrealistic. Um, there could be situations where that happens if you're playing against an aggro deck. But yeah, it's. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun trying this one out. Now that hopefully in standard hunters might slow down a bit, but yeah, expect to see this in a kind of a mid-range or even a even slower, even maybe a control hunter deck. 
But yeah, a hunter, hunters with an actual good legendary, or actually actually useful legendary. That'd be good. Well, you know what? That that's a bit harsh. Because uh, dread scale wasn't too bad. As a free mana drop goes. Next up is one of those cards that isn't really well. It's not competitive at all. It's kind of a. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know, throwing the game away in some cases where you just get garbage, garbage class cards like savagery and stuff like that. Um, but you know what? It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun to play Red Arms Darkness. A hell of a lot of fun. And I think that's one of the main reasons it's slightly higher on the list than a few of the other cards. Because um, you, you could, you know, you could end up with a hand of like six Tyrians, something ridiculous like that. Because it could could give you multiple uh, multiple legendaries of that class. So look forward to this one. This one will uh, probably have a lot of long-winded, quite funny clips, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to. So up next on the list is a uh, a rogue card, highly rated. You know, I think this is going to be a pretty uh, pretty interesting one for some certain battle cries. If you know, if you um, or maybe even just like cards that trigger at the end of your turn, like Ragnaros. Obviously, it's quite difficult to get this card in play with Ragnaros because obviously uh, that's a priority target to kill. There could be some instances where you get some kind of crazy one-one copy of a battle cry into your hand. Uh, but with Rogues moving into the direction more of a, a kind of a death rattle esque deck, now that. That blade flurry changes have gone through. Um, this could be a very, very powerful card. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's going to be a very, very powerful card in standard. So yeah, look out for this one. Um, I'll be trying a few, a few crazy things of it, <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully, they'll work out. <laughs> but again, this was kind of tested in the tavern brawl, where you had uh, all of your cards cost one mana, but they have one health. So, again, pretty interesting. Next was one of my uh, favorite neutral cards that were released in the set, and it's the it's not my it's not the favorite, but it's it is up there. Uh, this was the Reddit. This was the Reddit um, announced uh, shifter. Zur is it Zurus? Is that how you pronounce it? Zurus. Yeah, probably. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> But it's uh, each, so while it's in your hand, I can only assume, so I'll read the text out, it's uh, each turn this is in your hand transforms into a random minion. So I'm just guessing every, at the start of each turn, you can physically see the card changing um, in your hand. I'm not too sure if you hover, you have to hover over it or if it'll just uh, display the new card entirely. But this, this is an interesting one because you could technically, you know, Keep this card until on the perfect turn for the perfect mana curve. You could play a. <laughs> Again, it's kind of that you know recombobulate a random minion kind of thing, except you're playing this one from hand. Um, or it's more like a, a random esque um, version of the priest card, except you can see what it is. So, uh, so the forbidden shifting. So rather than just playing forbidden shifting and hoping for the best. You can actually see this one shift in your hand and then play it at will, essentially. <laughs> so there could be a few interesting moments where you get like a ball clear, or um, you pick up a potential lethal with it. Who knows? Or a nice bit of defense. So it's a, it's a versatile card. Obviously, it is random. And you, to side note, you can get this from uh, Dark Peddler, which is a you know that's a. You cannot complain of getting that from Dark Peddler, that's for sure. Really good, uh, really good one mana legendary. And a uh, really nice design, really interesting. That's why it's quite high on the list. Next, we have another priest card, which is basically a uh, Fort Steel inbuilt into a 4 free body for 4 mana. So it's got the, it's got the shredder stats, obviously, it's a nice 4 drop to have. And it gives you, it generates one card, providing the death rattle goes off. Produces one card from your opponent's deck. So it's, yeah, it, it's it's kind of like a Ford Steel built into a, a nice body. So it's pretty good. Looking forward to playing this. I haven't made a reasons to play Ford Steel video yet. 
but I think this one will come before that because it's 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 quite a cool effect with regards to the death row. So I'll be looking forward to playing this one as well. And uh, this combo, this combos of the new priest legendary as well. If you can keep this on board, and you know priests typically have a um, good board control around the mid to late game with uh, the spell buffs and obviously the hero power. So it's not completely unlikely that you could copy uh, this card with the uh, new priest legendary. Next on the list is another rogue card. It's the uh, Undercity uh, Hookster, and it's uh, two mana two two. And the death roll is add a random class card from your opponent's class. And because this fits into the uh, Raptor Rogue or the death roll uh, rogue decks that are probably going to be uh, seen in a lot of playing standard, it's just really good two drop. Really good two drop. And class cards are typically better than neutrals. So it's uh, similar, I guess. What can you compare this to? Maybe the uh grand crusader except this is obviously based on the the class or maybe nefarian actually it's like a little little nefarian except it gives you uh spells and um uh, minions so it's a really good card looking forward to this one and again i'll i don't play much rogue because i was never uh never really practiced with it and uh with the new raptor mid-range kind of rogue i'll be pretty interested in playing that in standard so Definitely looking forward to playing this card and the uh, uh, the new Rogue Legendary as well, which uh, seems like a decent valued card with the two uh, the two toxins that you get. And uh, last but definitely not least, or I should say first, <laughs> number one, most looking forward to card to play, obviously is Yog Saron uh, Hope's End. And we've already seen a clip of this on the live Twitch stream from Blizzard with uh, with Ben and Ben Broden Froden playing the uh, the card a couple of times. It's already you know it already looks like a hell of a lot of fun. So you know I've already got a deck. I've even I've even designed I've even started to come up with a deck, a shaman deck, similar to the uh, Mechjania deck that I played in the uh, Ancestors Call video. So it's just basically like a uh, a control based shaman with a load of spells basically. I think this is just gonna play at the end and you probably you probably play like I don't know, eighteen plus spells during the entire match. So you're gonna see you possibly could see like a ridiculous uh Yogg Saron come out <laughs> at the end. So yeah, this I'll I'll put the clip on the end of the video if you haven't seen it already. Just of the uh the battle cry effect and all the spells going off and obviously Ben Broad laughing his his head off. But yeah, this will probably be the first one I make a video on, and then I'll pick it for how I'm, you know, based on what I fancy playing. You'll probably see those other cards come then, uh, but this will be the first, the first I'll be playing, <laughs> most definitely. Uh, but yeah, and hope hopefully I'll get the first video out on the first or second day of the release because I'm just gonna I've taken a few days off work, so I'm gonna hammer this card as soon as it comes out so you can look forward to that as long as EU stays up please Blizzard so yeah enjoy uh, the upcoming videos hope you uh, enjoy this me just talking rubbish about the cards basically uh, yeah and enjoy this clip and I'll see you guys very soon <laughs> moment in Hearthstone for every person who's played the game <laughs> where do you go for the glory or do you go for the story do you want to attack with Brand first, or do you want to hope it gets buffed? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Right. Here we I'll go, Yon Saron! I don't even go. know what to expect anymore, man. No, Brand's dead! Oh no, I don't like this at all. <laughs> There's backstab on Brand. Freezing Trap, nice! At least the hounds! That's pretty exciting. Sacred Trial, okay. okay. Nice! <laughs> Totemic Might. Really useful. How did Brand even Earth die? Shock. There's gonna be some crazy ending to this. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm waiting for the uh, twist. Powerwood Glory. Okay, that's sure. actually helpful. No! <laughs> that's how Brand dies. Holy smite. Holy smite. No! What are they doing? <laughs> no! That's so sick! <laughs> yes! I get to play it again! <laughs> oh, and you know what? He can't play a minion! Oh, uh, that's oh, that's true, yeah. This worked out perfectly. This draw's pretty good. He, he, he can't kill me. First. He play, got this from Portal to, for this moment to play this. I think the best way to do it is to...